For 33 years, the Duke and Duchess of Windsor lived close to the heart of Paris. In recent years, their elegant mansion crumbled into disrepair. Their furniture and personal possessions were about to come under the auctioneer's hammer. All saved in the nick of time after a long struggle by Mr. Mohammed Al Fayed. It's the greatest love story in the century. When you find a king of a great empire, just denounce and leave everything and go for his heart. It's just one of the greatest romantic stories. Which... Inside, some of the restoration has already been done. There's a feeling almost of intrusion beneath the chandeliers, history at every corner. And it was at this table here, 50 years ago, that he signed the instrument of abdication. Everywhere, pictures of his beloved mother, Queen Mary. Mostly, though, pictures and paintings of the woman he loved. On the piano, the sheet music reflects the times when the Windsors were the darlings of society. When anyone who was anyone attended their cocktail parties, when the dinners sometimes went on till dawn. In her later years, widowed and ailing, the Duchess often remembered those times in scrapbooks she compiled herself. She kept his bedroom upstairs exactly as it was the day he died. The pipes, the pens, the picture. His bath was always covered over. The Duke preferred a shower. For 35 years, his vast wardrobe was cared for by Sidney Thompson, who fittingly now works for Mr. Al Fayed. The Queen called here just before the Duke died. They were served by Sidney. How did the Queen and Duchess get along? Oh, very well. Very, very well. They had tea. I served them tea and they laughed and chat and talk. Very, very well. This was the room where the Duchess spent her last years and where she died earlier this year. Pug dog cushions at the foot of her bed. She once had nine such animals, and ever present on the dressing table, a photograph of her husband, David. Vernon Mann, News at 10, Paris.